Okay, so I want to do some HUD stuff. In prep for that, I imported a texture. This is just a really simple, small 128 by 128 texture. And I created two materials. One is uh, just a basic material um, with a uh, multiply for and a glow amount, which is a scalar parameter. Defaulted to one, so it's not really glowing. And then a uh, material instance of that where I've set the glow amount to 10. What that's going to represent in my uh, widgets, my UMG widgets, are uh, my regular button and my hovered over button. Okay. So, I want to create my uh, end game HUD. User interface, widget blueprint, and we're going to call this game HUD. And I'll go ahead and open that up. Alright, so in my game HUD, in my hierarchy, I have a canvas panel over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an overlay on that. Okay, and in my overlay, I am going to drop an uh, image. And we'll call this the menu uh, BG image. Pretty simple to guess what that's going to be. It's going to be our button background, which isn't just the button; it's the whole, the whole thing. So let's uh, let's grow this a little bit. Um, take that image, and we'll we'll do a fill uh, horizontal and vertical, uh, so it fills the whole button. So, well, not button, but uh, overlay. All right. Well, let's create our timer first. So on this. Uh, overlay, I am going to drop a uh, vertical box. And I'll just call this um, timer vert box, just for fun. And then on top of that, I'm going to do two overlays. Uh, the reason I'm doing two overlays is because I'm going to have one for the title for this little box and one for the uh, that that's going to hold the text for the timer itself. So the first one I think I want to call title overlay and then the second one I'm going to call uh, content overlay. I learned this from a tutorial. I can't remember who did the tutorial um, but it was a good tutorial. All right. So uh, the vertical box I am going to uh, fill uh, for the alignment both horizontal and vertical. Okay, in my title overlay I'm going to need to drop some text in there. And we'll call this timer title text just for the alliteration. And we'll put time in the box. All right. So it says time. Good. I'm going to fill both uh, horizontal and vertical. We're going to take our time and center it up on both the uh, horizontal and vertical. Okay. Also going to drop some text on my content overlay. And this is going to be the timer text and for now I'm going to assign this 999 because we just need a number in there. All right. All right, so for my time text, I think I want to take this and make it a little bit smaller. That ought to do. And then for my content overlay, uh, I think it's probably good where it is. Okay. All right, next step is going to be tying in the text for the timer to my timer on my ball pawn, which sets the timer time counter uh, variable. So let's do that. 
we're going to scroll down here and where our, our text is uh, for this text block we're going to bind and create a binding all right and this binding we'll call it uh, get timer all right so I'm going to add a get player pawn and then we're going to be able to drag the return value off of that and cast to BP ball pawn and we'll feed the input of our function into that all right from there we're going to drag off uh, for the, to get the variable uh, what is it timer count or time counter is what it's called and then we're just going to feed that right back into the return node it'll do the conversion automatically save that and on the ball, ball pawn uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a on begin uh, event begin play we're going to create widget and we're, we're gonna choose on the class that uh, game HUD uh, class and then we'll drag that out and add to viewport okay so now whenever we play our game we'll get this timer uh, which is in the wrong place and we'll fix that later but it says time and then our time is, is ticking up and when we hit the end tile uh, the time will stop just like it's supposed to alright let's go back over here and just move this up to the corner so it's kinda out of the way alright uh, from here we've got a lot that we're gonna do and I think I'm going to cover that probably in a lengthy tutorial but I'm gonna add a bunch of menus we're gonna have a level start menu a level end menu the pause menu a main menu a level select menu um, and then there's a lot of stuff that goes with that because we're also gonna add in the uh, save game stuff and that's where we'll start next time thanks for watching